Hi everyone, I am in my bathroom today. My ensuite, you can probably see that's my bed just behind me there. So I thought I might organize underneath my bathroom sinks with you today. I threw out a huge garbage bag full of just beauty products and makeup and things that I didn't even know I had. Like there was just so much, it was insane. So yeah, I've kind of just set everything in these like um, metal baskets that I already had, but it still doesn't feel very organized. So yeah, I thought today would be a good day to get everything nice and organized underneath my sink. But before I show you what I have left in here, I thought I might do a little bit of a container haul. Just to show you the things that I've bought to organize everything into, just in case you're interested. Everything I've got here is either from Kmart or Target. So what I'll do is I'll link everything below for you and then you can go and have a look at what size containers and drawers and things I ended up using. So I found these just clear plastic see-through tubs and they were really cheap. I think they were only like three or four dollars. This is the small one. And then I also got the medium. I ordered all of these online and I think when I ordered the large one of this was actually sold out. I'm probably not going to take the stickers off today, I'll be honest with you, because getting these off is a bit of a task. But there was a sticker on this one as well. It has a bit of a sticky residue, so I'll need to find something later on to get that off of there. I ended up using my Scrub Mummy Scour Resin to just scrub the rest of the stick off because it was really hard to just peel with my fingernail. This is a stackable drawer. It just looks like this. I think I'm going to use this for something in Kyle's side, so I'll show you that soon. And then these, I need to open it. Hold on a sec. I've got my scissors here. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of bubble wrap for one thing. Look at that. I've got three of these here, and these are cosmetic storage drawers. These are the stackable single drawer. Looks like that. I'm not sure if you can see on the sticker here, but these are all the different ones that you can get. And actually, this was quite reasonably priced considering the size. Does it say? No, it doesn't say the size, but again, I'll link everything below so you can see sizes and then you might even want to look at other things in the range that might suit your needs. Okay, it's also got a plastic film over it. I really like these though, I think they look nice. Alright, so here we go. It just looks like this. It's got these little like feet on the bottom because you can stack these on top of each other as well. I've got three of these. What's the matter, Diesel? Hello. Guys, Diesel does not like being ignored. Do you? Let's see if I can. <laughs> there he is. Hello. You don't like all this stuff in the way. You're going to come over anyway, aren't you? To get some attention. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes. What's the matter? What's the matter? You scratch behind me now? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like we have a special guest. Be careful, there's sharp scissors here. That's okay, I'll just wait while you drink very loudly from your bowl. <laughs> Where are you going? Hmm? Okay, bye. 
never a dull moment with diesel around. Just there. There's never a dull moment when you're around. Containers are all open. Where is he? He's in the wardrobe. What's the matter? Oh, he's gonna come back. <laughs> you just can't handle not being the center of attention, can you? No, you can't. You make me laugh, Diesel Herman. Why don't you find yourself a comfy spot and chill out? <laughs> I can't even move, he's on my arm. You might be able to see him a bit better. What's wrong with you, huh? <laughs> no. You're off again. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Look at that face. Okay. Good boy. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see when I open the doors to my bathroom cupboard. But I'm going to show you what it currently looks like in there. I kind of wish that I showed me throwing out and decluttering all of the things I no longer needed. But at the same time, literally all I did was just pull things out and put them in a garbage bag. I'm not sure how interesting that part really is, but I really enjoy organizing and it makes me feel quite relaxed. So. I feel like today is a very good day to just choose one small area to organize and give everything a home. All right, let's open up. Even though it looks quite organized under here, within each of the baskets, there's just like stuff kind of shoved in there. I've just been finding it a little bit tricky to like find things easily. That's quite full. And also, smaller things can easily fall out because there's big gaps. But I think Kyle said he wanted to put his stuff in them, although he doesn't have anywhere near the amount that I do, so he probably won't want them, to be honest. But yeah, that's okay. I can definitely find somewhere to use these in my house because I really do like them. I think they're quite nice. What are we gonna start with? I think I just want to take everything out. Random hair tie. The very few nail polishes that I own and practically never use. Little toothpaste. Mm. Might have to double check inside these like that scrunchie i know i won't wear so i can put that with things to donate i've never used this brush cleaner my sister gave it to me i'm not sure if i will use it or not so like it's still brand new it hasn't been opened i'll have a think about it while i'm decluttering yeah i could probably donate this or see if one of my friends want it Oh yeah, this is a gross contraption. <laughs> it's like a sinus cleansing. You have to like squirt it up your nose because I do get sinus infection. And yeah, it's not fun to do, but it really helps. I've got all the baskets on the floor. Shelves are empty. I don't really need to give them a wipe. I did do that the other day when I got all of the junk out of here, but I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit embarrassing how bad it had gotten. Everything was just thrown in. You couldn't see either of these two shelves. I think I've narrowed it down quite a lot. I did measure for these, so I'm hoping they fit. So I'll be keeping that. That's kind of it. I feel like I don't really have any other dental things. <laughs> Can I fit another one on top? Is the question. Oh, I 
I did measure. I promise. It's just like this part of the basin is super low. Maybe I need to put these in the bottom. Okay, yeah, that works. Happy with that. Maybe I'll put this one here. Because then it will feel very uniform. Can I get a third one in there? I do have another one downstairs. Nope. thinking about having these this way. Oh yeah. Look at that. This probably makes me a lot more happy than it should but it just looks so nice. I think I'm gonna make this drawer like face stuff. Pop those in. Pop those in there. That's the face. So this one down here I'm going to use for pads and tampons. I was kind of hoping that I could, like, I have a lot. I was kind of hoping I could fit them all in here. I think I can. Um, I don't know why I have so many. Actually, yes I do because I couldn't find anything in this cupboard. So I didn't even know what I had. But I think I'm going to take them out. Take them out of their packets. Just like... Not gonna stand up in there, is it? Nope. Should we go like that? Can I get two piles next to each other? Yeah, different, different flow. <laughs> I, yeah. This is like, I know that I don't like these. Ah, oh, will I be able to tell? Yeah. I will. Oh, there you go. I feel like I never really need these, but anyway, this one has an R, a regular, in case you're wondering, and an S for super. Who would have known? Are they gonna put it in that way? Not to go. Oh, just. There we go. That will do in there for now. Do you know what would be so good? Like little dividers to put into these drawers because you know, I like a divider. Uh, what have we got left? Like hair stuff. And then I'll probably put these nail polishes in with my makeup because I do have one in there. So I'm not sure why these ones are like randomly under here. I think that's what I'll do though. Do you know what else I just realized? I still need to fit these under. Oh yeah. It'll go that way. And then I feel like I need to put that one that way. I like it this way. I do like it this way better. Maybe I can put them behind. What do I have in here that I won't use? I have made a lot of mess. Can you hear Diesel snoring? He's like gone off to sulk. He's kind of around the corner near my bedroom door. I think he's gone to sleep. I think I'm going to use this big one here for like all of my hair stuff and the small one for the other miscellaneous pieces, which really is just stuff for my like sinuses. That's the mat, heat mat thing for my straightener. That's more hair removal, I guess. Just sit it up there. What have we got anyway? Hairspray. Some heat protector thingy for my straighteners, which currently are sitting up there. Because I'm too lazy to put them away. Some hair ties. My straightener mat doesn't want to sit in there. I think I'm going to just pop it on top here. Curling iron. That should fit. Mm. Got a hair clip thingy too. It does fit as long as it like goes under that part. My 
hairbrush. I think I need a new one. This is really old. This little one. Sinus stuff. Pink fever tablets. Oh, that's so funny. What am I going to label this? Like allergies. <laughs> to clean up over here now but that's okay we have to get messy before we can get tidy yeah i think that looks heaps better i'm just gonna see if there's any other hair stuff i do have these two bottles maybe i can just lay them down okay maybe i can yeah i've actually had this for i got it not last christmas the christmas before so over a year like what are we in like a year and two months and i haven't even opened it so i think i'm going to give it to someone so i'm thinking about putting this razor down there because i don't like i do use it but not that often and i can easily easily reach behind and get that when I need it, but it's not like an everyday thing that I need. I think that's it, okay. I do need to put labels on, but I think I want to show you what I'm going to use this one for first. It just so happens that we put it underneath the other sink because he doesn't have loads of stuff like I do. Okay, let's move over to the other side. Okay, so I'll bring you over to this side for just a minute. I really do want like a little cleaning caddy. These are just cleaning products for this bathroom and then Diesel's like sensitive skin shampoo over here. I'm not sure, I, I would love a bamboo one or a metal one, but I feel like the bamboo one will go moldy because these things get wet or a metal one might go rusty. So I might have to go with plastic. I don't know, I just feel better about plastic things in the bathroom and these are containers that I will keep for a long time and they're reusable so at least there's that but anyway I'll show you what this is for can you see that that fits perfectly it's for the toilet roll I initially bought this for under my kitchen sink but it doesn't actually fit yes That is so good. I can fit six rolls in there. And it's all like hidden away then. I really like that. Maybe I'll put a label on there while I'm over this side. What should we call it? I think I might just put TP on there. We all know what that means. Make a label. Oh yeah, it doesn't, um, doesn't cut anymore. T. I really think Kyle's gonna like that. There we go. TP. And that's all I'm doing under this side for now. We're gonna close the door. Right. Back to the other side. I had a bit of a think about decluttering and I definitely enjoy organizing more than I enjoy decluttering. They're both quite time consuming jobs. So it's definitely easier to procrastinate and put them off. But when it's done, I just feel so relaxed. It definitely is visually calming. And when things all have a place, I just find it so much easier and less stressful when looking for something. I can easily see exactly what I've got. What am I gonna call this one? Face teeth. I'm gonna call this one girlies. I have a friend who I used to work with when I was in uni and we worked in retail together and that's what she called your time of the month. She called it girlies. So I think I'm gonna call this one girlies. And then hair. Do we call this sinus? Meds. I could put the other medication. No, I don't want to put the other medication in here. Like face. I'm so inventive with these names. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that. I just had a thought. Wouldn't it be gross if I put actual teeth in there? I don't even know why I thought that. I was 
was just thinking I can still hear the rain a little bit it's not as heavy as it was before and normally the rain just makes me feel so calm I love listening to the rain but today for some reason it didn't work um, and I tried all of the things in my new morning routine when I wake up so so yeah I did morning pages meditation exercise but i think the problem was i didn't walk far enough and that's just simply because i went with kyle and he had to come back so he could go to work i've eaten some healthy food to nourish my body as well and now i am organizing and i'm actually finding this is really just taking my mind off of all of my worries i think that's why i enjoy it so much because it, it's something productive to focus on The reason I mentioned that I find this so calming is because I think a lot of people who watch my organizing videos maybe find it calming too. I hope so. Who likes watching clean with me videos? Especially like really satisfying deep clean videos. I find if I am lacking a little bit of motivation to clean a certain area of my house. If I put on one or two of those videos on YouTube first, I don't know. I just find it really motivating. Again, probably just me being a weirdo, but those are the kinds of things that I really like to watch, especially if I am feeling a little bit tense or anxious which I don't right now and and yeah at first I was thinking this morning that I've tried everything that I normally would and nothing seemed to be working until I started doing this but actually I think it's because I've done a series of things and all of those things collectively together are what has helped. I think it's perfectly okay to feel anxious sometimes and I'm really just trying to change my mindset about a lot of things and I'm just finding that it's really improving my life in so many areas which I know is a little bit off topic but also kind of this relates to improving I guess my surroundings which I am a person who is definitely affected by my surroundings I think I'm finished oh my battery's flashing so I'm going to give you a look at all of this goodness so you can see it closer I hope you enjoyed watching this I feel like it turned into a bit of a deep chat that I didn't anticipate I just said to myself this morning I was going to Say whatever I felt. I will see you in my next video. Also, if you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, let's have a look. I'll talk to you soon. Also, just quickly, look where Diesel ended up. You're a cheeky boy. This is why I put this blanket on here. Oh, Diesel. Say goodbye, everyone. Say thank you for watching.